got a, I don't know, that's a pretty standard palette for me. So this is Burnt Sienna, Emerald Green, Ivory Black, Prussian Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Titanium White, Hans Yellow, Indian Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Naphthol Red. And we're just going to do a, uh, just a quick little painting. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's all the, uh, we're just practicing. So, let's see, where do I want to start? Let's just do the, uh, a standard, kind of a standard type of sky here. I'm thinking I'm just going to do a nice simple sky. Maybe the sun's right in there. Sunset, dusk. And then maybe a tree here. And then some brush in front. That's all we're going to do today. Something simple. Let's get yellow ochre on top of that. A little bit darker of yellow, I think. Yeah. Mostly silhouettes I'm going for. And on top of that, we'll throw in that crimson. Crimson and yellow ochre should just make an orangish color. This is this is permanent illusion crimson. I don't know if I said that. Permanent illusion crimson is quite a bit stronger than regular. And it's more light fast, meaning as it's in the sunshine more. Or bright light more it won't fade as much. Regular illusion crimson will fade pretty quickly. So I think that's good enough here. Just wipe off the brush and then let's see maybe we just blend them get the, as much red as we can off with a brush we might add something interesting down here for the background color pick up that edge of white and then wipe it off one more time and we go back in here and just start blending this together And in the middle. And then we gotta get more careful as I go to the top. And now we're at the top, and then we gotta be really, really careful. Here. There we go. I think that's good enough for the, the old sky. Maybe one left and right. Simple sky. But when I want to add a cloud. I kind of want to add some clouds. Let's just see. Let's see how much we can get away with the two and a half inch brush for this one. I don't wanna I don't wanna spend a lot of time cleaning here. So let's go blue, Prussian blue, crimson, permanent crimson on the tip, tippy top, and then maybe some white. Hopefully I don't turn green. My turn green. I don't know. Here we go. Some simple clouds. I think those are lavender, purple clouds. Hopefully. Can't really see them from this angle. There's too much glare, but hopefully they don't look good. save that for the very end. So I'm just going to use crimson and Prussian blue, dark blue. And then I'm going to hit it a few times. That just makes the brush more puffy. And then we're going to make a big tree here. Now I'm not pushing really hard. If I push really hard here, that would make it so I couldn't see any of the little uh, holes little gaps here. But I do want to see those gaps. 
but not so much at the bottom. Because I am going to have a tree line here. Maybe like start over there. definition over here on the right does that mean we get more definition as you get close I think that's okay now you can just start pulling this out a little bit just a little bit I'm going to fill in the rest down here make it dark I got some ivory black here again this is the very bone simple to me when I'm going for it. Just want to try some new camera and see how it looks. Try it in 4K, see what happens. Alright, let's see if I can we keep going with this. I've never done tree branches with the 2.5 inch brush, so maybe we'll try to do some of those. Or the center of the tree, I should say. That's not, not working out too good. But, mm, try stuff and learn. Go over that one more time. And I kind of want to add maybe a little bit of highlight on that. Let's see. Set the brush down and get the one seed all out real quick. There we go. Same. Maybe we'll add some yellow or one's yellow to that. Brighten it up just a little bit. This is a little too dark, kind of hard for me to see. It's hard for me to see them. I doubt anyone will be able to see it. Or maybe the other way around. If it's easy for me to see, then everyone can see it. It's hard for me to see. And usually a lot of people can see it. Sometimes they can. If they're also colorblind. Actually, it's pretty nice down here. Let's just turn this whole area it's kind of green color. So this is the interesting way to make grass. You do it in layers like this, but this isn't this isn't finished. This isn't the, the final step. You're probably saying that looks horrible. So bad. But this is the in between step. In between. 
tweens usually do look terrible. Well, this is how I make uh, this is how I make my grass in VR. So you'll learn. If you watch this, you'll see what I'm doing. You'll know. You already know. Those work, it works a lot better if you have an old hand brush. Just kind of tap for the dark area in between those. That makes it look like a little standing grass. And you can always pull up if you want. if you want to make it stand out a lot more, but it's kind of the same concept either way. Just trying to get it to look like tall grass. A little hard for me to see, but I think it looks okay. Maybe we'll just grab some more of this yellow here and punch it in. Then I'll add some tall grass here at the front. Actual tall grass with the uh, fan or the strip liner brush. But that's all we wanted to do there. And this is the last, last kind of step. I'll use emerald green burnt sand over there. Maybe we'll have a stone here in a bit. Just get as much of that dark color as possible. I found that uh, emerald green and Burnt sienna makes a really nice dark color. I've been using that a lot lately on the non-stream paintings that I've been doing. So let's do it over here. Let's just add a, just a good bit of this might be a little slow, so apologies if it takes a bit to put this in. Kind of just run it in this corner. I want this because the light I think is mostly over there, so I'm just trying to darken this up a little bit. You can also do this with the fan brush too. If you put oil all up on the fan brush and do kind of the same thing in there, it'll make really nice thin lines. And then you can crunch out the bottom, blend it all together. I say crunch. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Smush out. Blend. Sometimes I don't have the right words to explain what I'm talking about. Whenever I get too dark of a spot, I just go over it more than once. It makes it look better. Smoosh it. Smoosh it and then fling it around. Don't like that. Then we'll grab the fan brush one more time. Go back into this mixture. Smoosh out the bottom. Pull it a little bit. Some more over there on the right side, and the same thing. We'll leave the middle open. Why not? Go back to the old script liner, pick up some of that dark color again, Just pull some of this around, give us some more character. Smaller because they're closer up, or 
getting further away, sorry. Something like that. All right. I think that's good for practice painting. That's all I wanted to do. Something simple, really simple. Don't take too long. Rip off the old screw bar there. Get some nap all red here. down here in the corner. Call it a day. Quick painting, quick painting. I call these, um, these be a lunchtime painting. Sometimes I try to do a painting over my lunch break. This would be one of those. There we go. And I don't think I have to zoom in or anything because you should have a pretty good, should have a pretty good view of it right here. So I don't have to take it down, but I might do that anyway. Just tilt it a little bit. There we go. There's the painting. Well, if you are watching this, that means the the, the camera view wasn't too terrible. And hope you're doing well. And I'll see you all soon.